Welcome to the e-learning platform by ScienceSpark. So today we are going to cover the fourth part of current electricity and magnetism. So let's see what are we going to learn in this video. So in the last video we have seen or we have learnt about the magnetic effect of electric current and in this video basically we are going to see the different or other effects due to electric current. The first one which we are going to look at is the heating effect of electric current, then the chemical effect and in the end the mechanical effect of electric current. So friends to understand the heating effect of electric current let's see a experiment. So friends in this experiment we are going to see the heating effects of electric current. In the last part we have seen magnetic effects. Now we will see the heating effects. So for that here we have an assembly. Over here we have a wire. This is made up of micro. Now the speciality of this wire is that if we pass an electric current through this wire it becomes hot. Right? And here we have the cell holder. So first of all we are going to put the cells in the cell holder. Now to actually observe the heating effect we have this piece of wax which we are going to attach to this nichrome wire from below. Like this. Now there are two wires. So we are going to fix this wire, one end of the wires here. And as soon as we connect the other end of the wires to this nichrome wire, electric current will start to flow from the nichrome wire. And as I told you, it will become hot. So now the electric current has started flowing. Yes. So friends, as you see, the piece of wax has fall, fallen down. It is because the wire is getting hot and the wax which is just pasted to this wire has melted due to which this piece of wax has fallen down. So this is the heating effect of electric current. Alright. So friends, let us look at the applications of the heating effect of electric current. The first one is the electric bulb. So friends, as you know, the bulb emits light, but at the same time, it gets very hot. Yes. You see the filament which is actually glowing. It is glowing because it gets hot due to the passage of electric current. Then we have the electric ion which we use to iron our clothes, right? So there is a similar kind of a coil inside the ion which gets heated up due to electric current. Then we have heater which is also based on the same principle which is used to uh, used as a room heater and we have geyser which we use to heat the water and in the end one of the main applications of heating effect that is the fuse. Now friends fused is used in electrical circuits wherever we want to protect the electrical equipment which is used in the circuit. Now for example if the current in a circuit exceeds a certain limit, the equipment which is used can be damaged. So to save the equipment from the damage, we use fuse. Now there is a thin wire in a fuse, right, which actually gets heated up. And there is a certain rating to the fuse. Rating in the sense the quantity of electric current. How much electric current can it sustain? Now after the limit passes, 
द वायर गेट्स हीटेड अप एंड इट ब्रेक्स राइट एंड ड्यू टू विच द इलेक्ट्रिक सर्किट इज ओपन एंड द इक्विपमेंट इज सेफ्ड राइट सो नाउ फ्रेंड्स वी आर गोइंग टू सी वॉट इज द केमिकल इफेक्ट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिक करंट फॉर दैट विल जस्ट सी ए डेमोन्स्ट्रेशन right so here we have a beaker in that we have taken a solution or a electrolyte or you can say a chemical basically which is copper sulfate inside this we are going to insert a brass key and a copper plate right and after that we are going to connect it to an electric cell so the copper plate is going to the positive terminal of the cell and the brass is key is going to the negative terminal so after some time when you connect this circuit you see a layer of copper being deposited on the brass key right so this process is actually called as electro plating right so actually what happens is when current flows through the chemical or in this case copper sulfate you know in copper sulfate actually the ions are dissociated right so the copper ions they just go to the brass key and they are deposited on it because it is being connected to the negative terminal and copper ions are positively charged so they get attracted towards the negative terminal right so this is the chemical effect of electric current Now there are a few applications of this. The first one which we saw, electroplating. Then the chemical effect is used in metal extraction processes. Yes, so in the mines where the metal is to be extracted, you need to separate it from it from other components. So we use electric current, and you know due to the chemical effect of electric current, the process becomes simple. this process is also used in metal refining right so in the end now we are going to have a look at the mechanical effect of electric current yes so friends here we have used two magnets two bar magnets of which the north and south pole are facing each other and as we know these are the lines of forces right so friends the actual direction of the magnetic field due to these two magnets is in is towards the right so the magnetic field is towards the right right it starts from north pole and ends on south pole okay so now friends if we keep an electrical conductor in between these two poles such that it is coming out of the plane of the screen okay so the rod or the conductor is actually going straight through your screen okay and if you pass electric current to through this rod the direction of which is coming towards you so the electric current is flowing towards you now in this case when the direction of electric current and the magnetic field are perpendicular to each other that means the angle between them is 90 degrees then the rod or the conductor through which the electric current is passing experiences a force in upward direction right so friends this is nothing but the mechanical effect of electric current okay this force is also called as lorentz force and these directions are actually quite easy to remember so there is one very popular rule called as the left hand rule yes so friends our thumb represents the direction of force the four finger represents the direction of magnetic field and the middle finger represents the direction of electric current 
and all the three are perpendicular to each other. So friends, let's summarize what, have, what we have learned in this video. So first of all, we have seen an experiment on heating effect of electric current. Then we have seen some applications of it like electric bulb, iron, geyser, fuse. Then we have seen chemical effect of electric current through a demonstration of electroplating in which we have plated copper on a brass key. And we have also seen some applications such as electroplating, metal extraction, metal refining. And in the end, we have seen the mechanical effect of electric current. So here are some questions. So you can pause the video here, note these questions down and write answers to them. Thank you.